What's up everybody? So lately I've been trying to start my day with about an hour in Procreate just sketching or creating something for fun and I get this weird sense of satisfaction when I complete something to start the day. Uh, there might be some science behind that but I'm no scientist. It just kind of feels good. It's a good way to start the day. Coffee and Procreate. Definitely recommend. So with these sketches, I've been experimenting with some new things because it's just loose and I feel like that's the best way to do it. And I've been adding a little bit of flair. And by flair, I mean texture. So today I'm gonna show you a few simple tricks on how I find and use textures in Procreate and how you can apply them to your graphics. Okay, so the first step is to find your texture. And if you look hard enough, they're everywhere. I mean, you look at the walls, the floors, your cookware. For example, I was cooking dinner the other night and noticed this baking tray. Where'd it go? This baking tray had a pretty cool grungy texture to it, so I used this. And I was walking in my garage and noticed the floor was super beat up, honestly. It kind of looks bad, but for graphics it looks cool, so I took a picture of that. Okay, so for this first step, go hunt down some textures, take a picture of them, try and get as high quality as you can. If you're somebody who's living in a non-textured space or you just don't want to take pictures, um, you don't have a high quality camera or anything like that. Did I hit record? Okay, have no fear, the internet is here to help. So my go-to resource is Envato Elements. They're just my go-to place. They've got a ton of really cool textures, like a paper texture that I'll use in this video. And I've been using a lot on my graphics. Um, you can also Google them and find them online as well. Oh, it's thirsty. Okay, step number two, we're gonna apply these textures. So now that we have them photographed, we're gonna save them to our iPad. That way we can easily paste them into Procreate. And for this demonstration, I'm gonna be using this Pizza Planet graphic that I made a few days ago. Okay, so we're gonna paste in our texture on a new layer, and we're gonna open this up and make sure it covers the entire canvas. Once it's covering the canvas, we're gonna to go to the Adjustments panel, open up Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, and let's drop the saturation and brightness down. So the goal is to make this black and white and then bring out as much texture as we want, and we can do that with the curves as well. And doing this is gonna help us out when we go to adjust the blend modes later. So again, this is all up to your preference and how you like your texture. So you can follow what I'm doing or you can go and do your own thing, which I strongly encourage. Okay, and once we're happy with how our texture is looking, we're gonna go to the layers panel, click on the blend mode, and we're gonna slide this down until we find something we're happy with. Don't forget to test out the blend modes as well as the opacity, um, see how they look. Each one's gonna change how it looks. And for this version, I'm gonna go with Exclusion. Since I'm going for a grungy texture here, that's what I think looks best and looks pretty cool to me. The other thing that you can do is you can apply your texture as a clipping mask if you want it specifically on one layer instead of the whole thing. So that's another trick. Okay, so the awesome people at Procreate have included some pretty cool texture brushes as well. They come free and standard in the app when you download it. Um, so we're gonna run through those because you know, why not? They're right there. We might as well use them So let's jump in. Okay, so same applies. I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm gonna open up my brushes I'm gonna go to textures and let's work with the Tarkin. Tarkine? Tarkin? Maybe that's a real thing that I should know, but I don't. Make sure your brush size is set to maximum and over the white side I'm gonna go with black color and then on the black side I'm gonna go white just so it's easy to see and we'll apply both a little bit over it just to give it a nice look. So same thing applies. We're gonna go to the layer panel, open up the blend mode and mess with the blending mode and opacity until we find something that we like and that looks good. So for this one, I'm gonna go with the exclusion and I'm gonna drop the opacity a little bit and that looks awesome. I mean, it looks like some fabric or something, probably what Tarkin is, but yeah, really cool. I like how it looks on the white especially. I think that looks better than the black. Just my preference, but pretty sweet. So I was searching for a cool paper texture because I love the black and white on paper and I found this pack of 10 and that's what we're gonna use for this one. The same method applies to the first one. We're gonna cover our canvas. Once the canvas is covered, we're gonna go back to the layers panel and adjust the blend mode. For this one, I'm gonna go down to difference. As you can see, the difference flip-flopped these. So the black became the white and vice versa. And this texture looks awesome on it. I really am a big fan of this. I'm probably gonna use this a lot more now, especially on the black and white. I think this looks awesome. And it just gives your artwork a little more life. So once you're happy with your texture and you've made all these adjustments, you can save this to your iPad or copy it over to other projects, use this on other graphics and stuff. And there's probably an unlimited number of textures out there. I mean, keep looking and you're gonna see more. 
and just keep hunting until you find one that you're happy with. Just another awesome Procreate tip and trick that I think really adds value to your artwork. So was happy to share this. I hope you learned something. I hope you go crazy with some textures. And if you find some awesome textures or use something around the house that most people can find, comment below. I would love to check it out. So share the wealth, as they say. Well, that's all I have today. Thanks for watching. Get crazy with those textures. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram with your texture graphics. I would love to check those out. Thanks again, and hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.